anytime that you see any kind of a change or a shifting in any market, whether it's real estate or it's the stock market, there's an opportunity. You've always preached, you know, depending on the market, there's always, as you put it, you know, an opportunity. When, when the market was crazy hot, yeah. for instance, the, the opportunity was on the selling side. The opportunity yeah. was on, let's maximize dollars. And do you want to upgrade? Do you want to downgrade? What is it you really want to do? Now you're talking about well, well, an that, opportunity and, and in, a, in a low market, that's right? That's exactly it. And that's why it's like anytime that you see any kind of a change or a shifting in any market, whether it's real estate or it's the stock market, there's an opportunity. Yeah. And, you know, for you and I both know, and, and any real estate agent knows for that matter, like for the last, I would say almost a decade, about definitely the last five to six years, all we've been hearing over and over again is how am I going to find a house? How are the children going to find a house? The children, you know, it's like, okay, well now there's finally an opportunity where things are shifting. So yes, the interest rates are changing. Um, it's not going to be as easy. You're not borrowing money for free like they were at the time. So obviously it's not going to be applying to everyone. So for those of you who are out there that, that, that this shift and, and, and obviously the, the, the further shifts that are going to come when they raise the rates one or yeah, two more, three, or three more times. Yeah. They're talking another three percent, three increases. Okay, so, potentially, so if yeah. you're the people that that affects, then maybe this isn't, this message isn't for you as much as it is for the people who have income and, and money to, to, to do that because right now like if you look at anything like you know like and let's just be real like you talk about we you know we both represent a lot of very wealthy families a lot of wealthy people one of the most consistent things that i see with people who have proper real estate portfolios what is it i say oh what what, what happened oh you know what yeah my my uh one of my f family members was really smart they bought in a down market in the 80s they bought in a down market in the 90s they bought up like crazy in 94. Well, take, take take it back to the take it back to the 60s yeah when, when you know, when again, interest rates were all over. I mean, we, we've, we've run an average of a 6% interest rate forever yeah. and people afforded it forever. Yeah. That was the norm, yeah. right? And, and you go back to 67. Money is free to borrow. It's free. Right. You go back 60, 70s. What were they doing? They were buying up land, right? And, and then now it's okay. Let, let's buy up land in King City now. Let's buy up land in, yeah. in like you can't buy up land now. You got to go up to North Bay for the land. But, 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 the, but what I'm getting at is that now is the opportunity for people who have been, you know, like uh, buyers have been getting, you know, kicked to the curb for so long now. And, and finally, there's an opportunity where you can go out and actually negotiate on a property and get a good property. And, and you know, the, the reality is like this, like, I mean, us as listing agents, like there's no one that will know better than what the actual heartbeat of what's happening in a market is us because we can actually feel the showings. I, I have showings like crazy right now on all my listings. Okay, I, I, lo I love that because it's true because the reports that are coming out that people are freaking out over, for instance, those are two months, three months in behind. Like, you know, we're, we're constantly talking to our agents it's about already shifting. us, yeah. us, we are in the trenches. Yeah. You know, you take a war, this is a war and yeah. we are in the trenches. We yeah. are there seeing what's actually going on. By the time our information trickles through to the generals, right? Yeah. But by, by that time, yeah. our, our ground force, already everything's already war. changed. It's already a different war. Everything's so, different. There's a different so, yeah, attack coming at we're, you. We're seeing, and, we're seeing, like you said, yeah. more showings on stuff. We're seeing a little bit more inventory coming out. One thing that was key that we're just getting to, in my opinion at least, is we're seeing that many sellers are starting to become realistic. They're not expecting February numbers anymore. Well, of course, yeah. You know, but it took a while for that to happen yeah. because people were listing stuff a month ago, two months ago, still at February numbers yeah. or March numbers. But right? they're going to have to learn the lesson. And that's like anything. It's like yeah. at the end of the day, you, you can only, and, and us as agents and them as sellers can only control a certain part of things. There's so many unknown variables that are associated with selling real estate and buying real estate for that matter, but especially selling it. So for us, there's a checklist of things that we can control. You worry about the things you can't control and you don't worry about the things you can't.